the state of California, parents can be fined more than $500 if a child is not properly secured in a car seat. Well, this week is Child Passenger Safety Week, and 23 ABC's Noel Lilly is live at the Kern County Fire Department's Olive Drive Training Facility to show you how to keep your child properly secured. Noel. Mike, that's right. I'm here with Michael Hennessy, former sergeant with California Highway Patrol, who now runs Car Seat Safety 101. So, Michael, tell me, what's a misconception or something that confuses parents when it comes to car seats? Well, we get very few parents will actually read the instructions. Uh, each of the car seats are designed differently. Uh, what we usually see in inspection stations is that either the car seat itself is not installed properly or tight enough, or the harness on the child isn't tight enough. It has to actually be a lot tighter than what a lot of parents think. Got in. Are, are parents ever confused about rear-facing versus front-facing car seats? Uh, yes, there's uh, recommendations have been put out. Uh, California now has a law about a year and a half ago what came out where the child has to be rear-facing at least until two. 40 inches or 40 pounds. Got it. And Michael, you're actually going to also show us a demonstration, right, of how to properly put in that car seat. Yes. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we'll do an infant seat here today. This would be for rear facing. One of the critical things on this is you want to have it at the right angle. Uh, this one here happens to have a bubble angle adjuster. We'll have it just a little bit higher because then when we tighten this down, it'll all go level. It's very critical for a child, usually from birth to about six months, to be back at about a 45 degree angle. Because if the child falls asleep, his head comes forward, he could cut off his airway. So we want to make sure there's an angle back there. So then what we do, take the seat belt. This one will just go right through the seat belt path. Buckle it in. We'll take the slack out of the belt. And then this one happens to have a lock off. So all you have to do to lock this one off, is just slide that shoulder belt through there. Okay. Okay, so we're good on the angle. Got it, got and it. And then you want to check the tightness at the belt path. Mm -hmm. Side to side, it shouldn't move over an inch. And then forward to back, it shouldn't move okay. over an inch. Guys, thank you so much, Michael. Guys, again, I'm here at the Olive Drive Fire Training Facility, Michael Hennessy of Car Seat 101. And don't forget, this Saturday is Car Seat Check Saturday. So make sure that day and every other day you've got your kid buckled in safely. You can avoid a fine as well as save a life. Live in Northwest Bakersfield, Noelle Lilly, 23ABC.